There's an old joke by the late Mitch Hedberg that's been on my mind recently, and it goes something like, I bought a $7 pen because I always lose pens and I got sick of not caring. I know I'm not doing it justice, but for such a short and absurd joke, I feel that line is actually pretty deep. It also kind of sums up my approach to sunglasses. You see, until recently, I don't think I've ever paid more than 15 euros for a pair of sunglasses in my life, because I have my doubts as to whether expensive sunglasses actually offered better protection, and I figured it was just a matter of time before they'd break or get lost. Also, the fact that the majority of the sunglasses industry is in the hands of just a couple of players rubs me the wrong way. You know, these semi-monopolies getting filthy rich off of a few iconic designs created more than 70 years ago. And so year after year, I kept buying cheap knockoffs, a couple of them every summer, because yeah, they get lost or occasionally they'd break. I considered them disposable, and so they were. But in the words of Mitch, I got sick of not caring. Of not caring about waste and not caring where my money goes. So I went looking for a $7 pen. And that is where the Sunsky Topeka comes in. These are not actually $7 though. They cost about $70 or euros and I'm good with that. I want to care, but I don't want to go broke every time something happens to a pair of glasses. I'm sure I'm not qualified to review the optical qualities of these other than the fact that they're polarized and they look good to me, but I can give you a couple of reasons why I chose them and why I still like them a lot. They have a good fit that hugs the face a lot more than a classic Wayfarer profile does, so less light leaking in. It's too early for me to say anything about durability, but Sunsky offering a lifetime warranty does inspire a lot of confidence, as does the fact that they offer DIY replacement lenses for just $18. Mostly though, I like how they are the kind of grassroots, independently owned company that I feel comfortable supporting. They're part of 1% for the planet, the frames are made from recycled plastic, and they seem genuinely focused on sustainability. Is that in fact part of their marketing strategy? Well, I'm sure it is, but I'm okay with that as long as they back it up. If I find any faults with these down the line, I'll be sure to update you in the comments. But for now, I'm really happy with this $7 pen. Thanks for watching.